the theme or the vein that we're going to, or the idea that we're going to go down today is finance. Mm-hmm. And finance within the black community. And we're going to go get a little more specific, I guess, on that matter. Definitely. What, what would you say? Um, well, we're going to be diving in on different avenues to take as far as money concerned that probably the black community or people just don't know in general um, that they have access to. A lot of people mm-hmm. think that, oh, I need to have this amount of money or I need to save up this, this, or that. I mean, honestly, you can start today. People mm-hmm. just don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. here to shed some light into some of the avenues y'all could take, right. things that I'm doing myself, right, right. Um, you know, go from there. Absolutely. Show and prove. So stick no. Where we're talking before the podcast, I'm like, um, one of the big things I will I was saying, I like to quote myself, apparently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> was um Virgos. I feel right? Because we know everything already. There so we, we might as well just quote. We already know it's Leo. <laughs> and it's still Leo season because it's still that, August. So I don't is that what that else. means? <laughs> I don't know about the sign. So if you're a Virgo, you know I per- yeah, apparently. I just <laughs> yeah, I just Virgos I just, just play know. I just play hundred percent into it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. I got a kick out of it. But okay. but um <laughs> Explain to the, the, the quote of the day thing you do. Exactly. Like, make sure. Exactly. Makes and sense. why people just let me guide your life. <laughs> it's all piecing you know together. What I'm saying you live. Everything's coming you together. Know, exactly. A full and happy quality of life. Exactly. So, Bullshit. W- we're saying um, that, <laughs> that a big discrepancy between um, our people and those who genuinely have wealth is information. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I.e., the game you know Mm. so um what are some things just some basic things you feel like um um we generally don't know about or we're just um difficulties misguiding us i mean i think the biggest thing that um people in our community especially young blacks is uh a lot to do with like money management how Mm. to spend their money how to go about um being able to balance their income versus their debt or their, their assets and liabilities, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Going from grade school, we're not taught how to manage money. We're not taught right. what to do with our money when we do have it. Right, right. That's why a lot of times when you see, you know, um, middle class or, just or underclass, you know what I'm saying, they're encouraged to, to spend, spend, spend. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, too, a lot of the lotto winners, when they mm-hmm. get all this big money or just people when they get a lot of money generally, mm-hmm. they blow it, yeah. you know what I'm saying, because they don't know exactly what to do with it, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, but... They don't realize that there's a lot of avenues that you can take to mm-hmm. put your money in as long as you do the research. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I was told a long time ago that the biggest asset that you have isn't like a house or like a car or something like that. It's time because mm-hmm. time is yeah. so finite. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And depending on how you use that time is going to be your 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 progress in life. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, there's like... Did you just think of it like just just numbers wise? There's 24 hours in a day. Mm. If you do have a job, it's eight hours you're working, probably mm. six to eight hours of sleeping. Mm. Then you have another eight hours of where you're doing whatever. Mm, right. If you go to the gym, maybe that's an hour, two hours that's in the gym. You mm. got seven hours left. Mm. Uh, well, you might want to eat or like hang out with friends. Let's take out two more hours. Mm. So now you have about four or five hours left. Right. Mm-hmm. What are you doing within those four or five hours? Right. A lot of times watching TV, yeah. bullshitting, mm. talking to your time. friend, wasting time. You know what I'm saying? There's things you can do. That only take like about an hour, hour and a half, even 30 minutes at times day. every day mm-hmm. that accumulates. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. And I think that's what kind of puts us back because we don't know how to utilize our time wisely. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like one of those things that um, are good habits that we could just start doing is just reading. Absolutely. Because we're talking, you said that um, one of the things that um, changed your perspective was a book. Right. right. So um, talk, speak on that. That book was Rich Dad, Poor Dad mm-hmm. by Robert. Mm-hmm. Kiyosaki. I hope right. I said his last name right. right. Amazing so. book. Uh, it literally changed my my life, mm. changed my mentality. Mm. Um, got me to really self reflect because he talks about the way that the rich, his rich dad, um, uh, was going about money and going about life in itself, versus what his poor dad was doing. And a lot of the stuff that he was saying about his poor father really was speaking to me because all the stuff that he was thinking and doing in life was what I've been taught and what I've been doing myself. Mm-hmm. It wasn't until I realized and looked in my mirror like, damn, man, I'm, I'm, I am guess I'm poor. Like, I'm, I don't feel poor. I don't think I'm poor. I know I'm broke. Mm-hmm. But, that but mentality that mentality is poor, is poor because mm-hmm. poor is a mentality. Right. You can be broke but not be poor. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Poor is all about what you think about yourself or how you think about society or how, how you're going about society in itself. Mm-hmm. But if you change that mindset over right. time... Mm. And start applying the stuff that you do learn, you know, using their time wisely, 
it starts to it, it starts to make sense. Right. right. You right. start to see a change. I was definitely Correct. going to touch on that. That's um that's a a big thing for me and one thing I've learned as well. Like our as black people as a minority if you will, we it's the it's our relationship with money Absolutely. and how we feel about it. It is a poor mentality because to us money is this finite thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whereas so it's like we just got to, you know, use what we can and hold on to it mm-hmm. and we didn't, you know, in school they don't teach they us don't. Mm-hmm. they don't teach us the systems because it's not the system's not meant for us. So right. they don't right. teach us how to actually make money the they smarter don't. way. They don't. Either. And they set traps. Mm-hmm. And it's, on the 18th birthday, we keep first saying thing they get is, is a credit card. That's very true. And that's another thing too about here's, here's a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, free a credit money. card. Like credit is a very big right. thing mm-hmm. in our community too. Like mm-hmm. your credit really, really matters. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it too is like a lot of the times, like we're scared of credit. We're scared right. of like loans. We're scared of stuff like that. However, right. It's how you use that loan. Right, right. It's how you use your credit because mm-hmm, they're actually absolutely. good things to help you build yourself up. Because right. if you have good credit, you can get anything you want in this country. You absolutely. get a house, you get a car, mm-hmm. you get another business loan. You can do whatever you, you want with good perks. credit. <laughs> you get a lot of perks too doing so. Mm-hmm. However, a lot of the times um, uh, um, that the, our community, what we do is that we just spend, 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 spend without realizing like, oh mm-hmm. shit, we got to pay this shit back. Right, you know what I'm saying, right. um, think with about interest. right with interest. Think mm-hmm. about taking loans out from the bank, whether it's a personal loan, business loan, school loan. Mm-hmm. Is that instead of using that money to reinvest or using that money to uh, uh, progress yourself or like manage your own your own income, we spend on dumb shit. Mm-hmm. And as we're spending on dumb shit, we're not realizing like, oh, once again, we have to pay this back. And now mm-hmm. we're in debt, playing catch up, mm-hmm. living paycheck to paycheck, doing the same spiel. You know what I'm saying? Word, word. Man, I, even even going into um, generational wealth. Oh yes. You know, and and just going back into the history of this country and like how, you know, what I'm saying it's like the it's like the the head start has been it's it's, it's crazy. Right. You, you know what I mean? Right. We have um, a lot of catching up to do. Exactly. Oh, we yes. have a lot of catching up to do, exactly. but it's possible because mm-hmm. I'm gonna break. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Okay. It's like three ways, Mm -hmm. three real ways to become wealthy, not rich, Mm -hmm. because it's easy to get rich. People get rich every day, but not a lot of people stay wealthy. Right. Right. I'm glad you brought up that distinction. There's a very big distinction between the rich and the wealthy. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, the wealthy, they have probably, if not all three of these things, at least one. Mm -hmm. It is your own business, Mm -hmm. right? LLC, Mm -hmm. corporation, Mm -hmm. whatever have you, incorporation, whatever have you. I'm saying that you're starting your own business. Mm -hmm. It's real estate. Right. So buying land, not, I'm not just saying like buying houses, flipping or apartments, but it's the like land as well, land. owning mm-hmm. land, right? Mm-hmm. So real estate. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm also including the mm-hmm. the, the houses and the apartments, but right, the right. main, main thing to mm-hmm. really have that wealth is it's the land. land. Right, okay? for sure. Second, oh, well, I'm sorry. The third thing and last um, is investing. Mm-hmm. So whether it's the stock market, mm-hmm. cryptocurrency, foreign exchange, mm-hmm. investing money into businesses, investing your money, trading, you know what I'm saying? That all falls in, into that umbrella. Right. Those are the three things. Mm-hmm. Trump, uh, mm-hmm. Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, mm-hmm. uh, Joe, um, uh, Jeff Bezos, all these mm-hmm. rich individuals, mm-hmm. I guarantee you mm-hmm. have, if not all three, one of them. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Definitely. And it makes sense. Definitely all you know? three. <laughs> Definitely all three. Word. A lot of the times, too, a lot of them trade, man. A lot mm-hmm. of them have people who trade for them because mm-hmm. they understand that trading is a guaranteed way with a little bit of capital to mm. keep on making money. Absolutely. And I'll touch on more about trading later like, like later on, but like that's really the avenue mm. these rich people use mm. to maintain their wealth. Word, word.